Hey everybody, I am Jarrett Ross, a genie vlogger, and it's a quick genealogy tip. On today's quick genealogy tip, I'm going to be talking about projects on genie.com. Now for anyone who's watched a lot of my videos, you probably know that one of my favorite sites is genie.com. And one of the things that makes it my favorite site is the projects portal that they've created. Projects are pretty simple. They're a group focused on a specific topic of genealogy research. And being that Genie is a collaborative tree, this allows users who are focusing on similar genealogical topics to work together. The projects portal was originally started in 2010, and now there are over 32,000 projects. Now projects can range from all sorts of topics that are very broad to very specific. Some examples of projects are Mayflower Passengers, the Jewish Genealogy Portal, Sigma Chi Fraternity, Sephardic Family Trees Cleanup Task Force, Nunes Vaz Family, and the Alliance Colony. Now to get into the project's dashboard, be sure to be logged into Genie, go to the top of the page and click on Research. This will bring a drop-down menu and the third item down is Projects. Once you're at your project's dashboard, this is going to give you a list of all of the projects that you've already joined. It also gives you a feed of recent activity and projects in which you're a collaborator. The first thing to do to become a part of a project is to find one that's relevant to you. In the search tab, look for any genealogical topics that are related to your research. Once you've found a relevant project, to join the project, go to the top right of the page and click on the Actions button, which will bring a drop-down menu, and just click on the Join Project button. Once you send the request, you will need to be accepted to become a collaborator in the project, but you can also follow projects if you find them useful with the information that they have and want to keep up with any new information added. Once you become a project collaborator, you can add any profiles that you manage that are public profiles to the project. Now the point of adding these profiles to the project isn't necessarily just to corral all the names into a certain place. Any collaborator who's part of a project can edit and merge any profiles which have been added to that project. This makes it so if one researcher finds a big breakthrough they're then able to add any relevant information to all projects which have a connection to this breakthrough. Now, as I mentioned, the only profiles that can be added to a project are public profiles. So that means that any profiles for people who are still alive will not be able to be added to a project. Part of the reason for this is that all projects are public. So if you're not a collaborator with the project, you can still look at the About section, you can look at the profiles added, any videos added, documents added, photos, but you can't edit any of that if you're not a collaborator. Once you are a collaborator, you can edit all of that. You can edit the About section, you can add photos, you can add documents, you can add videos, but understand that anything that you add to this project will be public. Now, if you want to edit the About section, I highly suggest that when you get into the page to edit, click on the Formatting Help button. This will bring up a pop-up window which gives information on the system that they use for these About sections. It's very similar to a wiki style, so if you've ever done anything like Wikipedia, this will be quite familiar to you. Now, if you don't find a project that's relevant to the topic that you're researching, you can create your own project. All you have to do is go to the project's dashboard, and at the top right corner, you'll see a green button that says Start a New Project. Once you click that, a pop-up window will come up, which will ask for very basic information for the group. If you've been working on Genie and have been collaborating with certain users on this specific topic, you can request that users join your project. One of the things that I really love about projects is they can act as a hub of information for research. So there are some projects like the Jewish Genealogy Portal which are a huge umbrella project that other Jewish genealogy projects then connect to and it has a listing of 
all of those. As well, you can have projects like the Nunes Vaz project that I created, which goes into a specific family that has different branches that have yet to be connected. And the about section of the project explains the hypotheses of each connection between the trees, as well as what's known. And this is something that can't easily be explained just by looking at a tree. Thank you so much for checking out this quick genealogy tip. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it the thumbs up. You can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe. It's completely free to do so. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. I'm out.